Hello, God bless you. I'm glad you're coming on. And today you can comment. Just want to wish every mommy a happy Mother's Day today. Thank you for coming on. Hello from Milwaukee. God love you. Hello, hello to all of you coming on. Bless you. Please pray for my husband to be saved. I will do that with, with joy. Hello from Atlanta to you again, from Italy, Mississippi, Miami, India. My goodness, you're coming from everywhere. I love it. I just wanted to uh, do this very special Periscope today to wish all the mommies a very, very special Happy Mother's Day. I want to pray with you that the Lord will bless you today. I want to also talk to many of you about something so special to all of us on Mother's Day. I'll wait till you all come on. I'm going to just spend a few minutes with you today. I'm not going to take long. Uh, family restoration, of course, absolutely. Hello from Brazil, from India. Hello to you from London and Israel and Jamaica and Switzerland. My goodness, from everywhere. Florida. Well, thank you. Someone says they're 19 years old. Well, it's the Lord that did it, you know, not me. So to Jesus be all the praise, majesty, and glory. And God's people said, Amen, Amen. Well, anyways, Seattle, hello to you. And hello, goodness, you're all coming off from so many places. Um, Haiti, hello from Haiti. Venezuela, hello. Bless you all. Oregon. I'm coming to Oregon soon, by the way. I would really want to come to Portland for a big partners meeting with you. But um, thank you so much. Thank you uh, for your condolence. My mom went to be with the Lord last Tuesday. And this is the first Mother's Day without my mommy. But I'll tell you something. You know, the Lord is so gracious, isn't he? To give us strength. But I really do want to talk to you about that today, about the importance of honoring our parents and treasuring every moment with them. Both my mom and my dad are in glory. Thank God for that. They got saved back in 1975. They came to one of my meetings and my mom looked at my dad, at, uh, sorry, my dad looked at my mom during service. He said, that's not your son. He said, your son cannot talk. He said, his God must be real. And that wonderful day in uh, early 75, they were both beautifully born born again and saved and lived a very blessed life my my dear dad went to be home in 1982 he was only 58 years old and my dear sweet mom went home last week this last tuesday so being this is the first mother's day for me with, without my sweet mom i want to talk to all of you about the importance of cherishing our parents and i know you do many of you do but just in case, just in case there's somebody listening that needs to hear this. Honor thy father and thy mother, that it may be well with thee, is what the Bible says, and that you would live long on the earth. So as many of you are coming on, one more time to all the sweet mommies, happy Mother's Day. May this be the most blessed Mother's Day you've ever known or had. And to the rest of you who are not mommies, maybe some of you will be mommies one day, I really want to talk to the children, and I hope you maybe can show this later on to your children. Just this is something from my heart to everyone. My mom and, my, uh, and myself were very, very, very close. I did not, sadly, didn't have the chance to get to know my dad because he passed so fast. He was so young. You know what I miss most, I think, is being able to call and talk to them. And to those that, are, that still have parents, I would say this to you. Cherish every moment, every moment. You know, parents come once in all eternity. Not in a lifetime, in all eternity. You'll never have another mommy or another daddy. The Word of God doesn't say, honor your children nor does it say honor your brothers and sisters. It says honor your parents. God, I think, was very, um, you know, when he said that, something beautiful was on his heart. 
I will never forget years ago, I, my daddy wasn't saved at that time, nor my mom back in the early 70s. And I, after I got saved in 72, you know, there was a great hunger in me to go to church. And we come from an Eastern background now. Uh, some people may not understand this if you don't come from my part of the world, but many, many of you do. You come from Italy or Spain or places like, like that. It's honor. It's all about honor. And many of you understand that from different parts of the world and here also in the U.S. It's Saturday. You don't hear much about it. But if my daddy said no, it was no. Nobody could argue with him. If my mom said no, it was no. And I would have to go and ask my mom and my dad for permission to go to church, if you can believe it. I was saved. I was 19 years old. And I would go say, may I go to church? And most times my mom would say, okay, but don't tell your dad. And my, my father would always say no. And I would have to pray, oh dear Jesus, please change his mind so I can go, I can go to church, you know. But, you know, I, I went to the Lord one day. I said, Lord, please, you know, speak to my dad. And all God said to me very, very clearly, I'll never forget that, honor your parents. I said, Lord, they're telling me not to go to church. But later it was, that was used to save their soul. And often, of course, I did go to church because I go to my mom and say, Mom, just don't, don't tell Dad, you know. And, and I would go. And uh, my mom would always support me, even though she didn't un understand my, my walk with God. But it's precious that the Lord used that to bring them both to the Lord later because of our, the, the fact we honor. You know, we as, when we were kids, the, in Israel, when we would go to see Dad, we would kiss his hand. It was just culture. So, I know that's not fully understood in this part of the world, but still, though, the Bible does say to honor them and cherish every moment with them. So, you that still have parents, just hear me out, okay? Do not regret, after they're gone, that you did not have the chance to talk and get to know them. You know, most times kids, hey mom, hey dad, bye dad, bye mom, and they're gone. They never really take the time sometimes. That's with, with that was me with, with my dad. I never really sat down and really talked to him ever. I don't think my dad and I ever had a real heart to heart talk. I learned the lesson and I of course did the same with my, I, I, I did not do that with my mom, I should say. I changed that with my mom. I, it, it was the same years ago, but after my dear daddy went, then I would spend much, much time with my dad because you won't do the same thing again. And, you know, I cherish those memories. And that so comforts you that you had the time with them. Often I would ask, you know, Mom, tell me more about our childhood or tell me more about my grandma or tell me more about your dad or tell me more about such and such that happened when we were kids that I still remember but don't really understand what took place. And, and th these are treasured moments in life, just treasured moments. So please take my advice. I'm talking to you, I hope and Abel is listening. Cherish them, cherish them daily. Every single day from 1982, I think I started when my daddy went. I did not miss hardly one day to call my mom on the phone, every single day. It became such a habit that she would not go to sleep till I called, you know. And uh, my brothers and I did that. Uh, we have six boys, two girls. Every single day we would call, and, and my time was always 7 p.m. in the evening, Cali time, which was 10 p.m. In, in Florida. And then later when my mom got quite ill, I would call earlier because she had to go to bed earlier. But I hardly ever missed. And she'd say to me, you know, I can't sleep till I hear your voice. Boy, you know, I cherish that. And I would ask you to do the same. And honor doesn't mean we call and say, hey, mom, how you doing? Honor means we support them, even financially. And that's what the Bible really is all about. Remember what the Lord said to the Pharisees where they were saying to uh, individuals who had decided to serve God, not to honor their parents, and he rebuked them for that. He said, you're changing the word 
for your traditions. Well, honor in our tradition means support. Like support means like you, you make sure they're fed, you make sure they have a home to live in, you make sure they have money. Uh, when, when, when in the, for many, many years, when we would bring someone on staff who would work with me closely, my first question would be, do you honor your, your parents? Uh, do you give them money uh, regularly? And if they said no, I, I would not hire them. Because if they don't honor their parents, they will not honor the Lord or honor me as a pastor. Because honor is so important in the, in the scriptures. We read, honor the Lord uh, with your substance. That's how you honor him. Well, the same with your parents. So when God said, honor your father and mother, and think about this. It's one of the great commandments, one of the Ten Commandments that God did not leave out. It's a big headline. And it's not an advice. It's a command. No different than love your neighbor, no different uh, than don't lie and so forth. No different than thou shalt have no other gods before me. It's, it's one of God's commands that we will, we will be rewarded for obeying or judged for disobeying. So, you know, I don't know who is listening, to be honest with you right now, on what I'm saying them, uh, what I'm saying to them. But I've talked to many people one-on-one, -on -one, and I would ask, do you, do you give your mom or your dad money? Oh, they don't need it. I said, it doesn't matter whether they need it. And most parents will say, oh, son, I don't need it. Thank you. It's the act that matters before God. And it's not the amount. The amount is not the important thing. It's the, it's the act. And, and I know some, I've had people you know, say to me, well, I don't have much of a, a relationship with my mom or this or that. I get it, you know, somewhat. I think I do. It doesn't stop us from honoring them. And you know, the, God's word I was saying to someone yesterday, in the Bible, God did not say honor them till they're dead. He said honor them, period. Means you honor their memory too. You honor them and honor their wishes after they are gone. My mom had two uh, wishes uh, that blessed day when we were all together just a few days ago. I spent the last three days in Orlando and didn't go nowhere and just we were all there and uh, holding her hand and singing worship songs and blessing the Lord for her life and so on. And at one point she opened her eyes. She had been totally unable to speak or do a whole lot and for three hours, only those three hours. And I taped it on my phone. I can't watch it too much without crying sometimes. But anyways, her favorite hymn is, you know, How Great Thou Art. And we began to worship and play the tape she had her hands up worshiping, we're all crying, watching her. And then uh, she stopped uh, after that beautiful time of worship. And she looked at us and she said, I have two requests. One, get very, very close to Jesus. And two, get very, very close to each other. You know, and all of us standing around were, were you know, it was a very, a very emotional moment for all of us. And every day now I call my brothers. <laughs> I didn't do that before. Anyways, you know, I call, say, how are you doing? Or we text or stay in touch to honor her, uh, her request. It's so important to honor f parents even after they're gone by simply doing what they tell you to do so God can bless you. So anyways, thanks for listening and uh, bless you. Thank you for your nice statements and so forth and comments. Uh, don't forget today, by the way, 2 p.m. my time, uh, 5 p.m. East Coast. I'll be ministering. We have church today for you. You know that, that we have church online. I don't want a church building. I don't want to have a congregation like I used to years ago anymore. I'm happy the way I'm doing this now. And of course, I travel much and minister much, as you know, around the world. I'm busier than ever. I'm getting more invitations than ever, and I'm loving it. Just going around the world, preaching the gospel, seeing people saved and healed. 
that's really my call but I'm also enjoying coming to you on Periscope as often as I can to just minister the word and talk to you and see your sweet comments and so on and and um, but please be watching today for church service at 2 p.m. Uh, on the West Coast, 5 p.m. on the East Coast, Europe, uh, 9 p.m. the UK, 10 p.m. in Europe. I'll be teaching today. I'm going to continue my teaching on laying on of hands because I think it's so important to understand that blessed doctrine. And then I'll be ministering to you, of course, the Word at that time. I just wanted to have a talk with you right now. I just wanted to just open my heart talk to you about parents and the importance of mommies and daddies. So, happy Mother's Day again to every mommy. May this be a blessed, blessed day. Let me just pray with you before I say bye. Sweet Jesus, bless every mother right now watching. Lord, let this be a blessed day for them. Give them long life, blessed years of joy with their families, Cover them today with your blood and surround them with your angels. Bless every mother watching in the name of Jesus, the name that's higher than any other name. And God's people said, Amen, Amen, Amen. We sure love the Lord. Can we do something for the Lord right now? Can we just throw him a good kiss and say, Lord, we love you today? Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Mwah. We love you, Master. Wonderful Jesus. To him be the praise. And I want to just say one more thing quick before I let you go. None like the Lord. None like his sweetness, his mercy, his everlasting, his truth endures to all generations. Where would we be without him? Where would I be at this point without him? That's what's giving me such peace. Next week on Wednesday, we have the service for my mom in Orlando. And the Wednesday after we go to Canada where she wants to be buried with my dad. And, you know, it's going to be tough up, down. But one thing for sure, Jesus will be there. You know, the day will come in all of our lives where we're going to not have the mommies or the dad or the daddies or the brothers or the sisters that we love so much. But never forget, he will never leave us, never forsake us. So when everyone is gone and we're all, all alone, we're going to still hear his precious voice say, I shall never leave thee. I shall never forsake thee. So truly, all we have in life is Jesus. Blessed be his name. God's people said, Amen. Well, bless you all, and I will see you shortly at about 2 p.m. my time and 5 p.m. on the East Coast. Happy Mother's Day one more time to all the mummies. Bye-bye.